different from Nigeria? Yes. Um, Kweku, Kweku is a... You can't figure Kweku out, you know, from the onset. It, it takes a while for you to understand the sort of character that he is. He, he gets quite confusing along the line. He's a small kid, um, comes from a very rich home, you know, money is nothing. So because of that, I think it gives him a certain level of arrogance. And somewhere along the line, you know, school got mixed up with romance, you know. Um, <laughs> the story started evolving around, you know, love. And then it transcended into, you know, um, I would say, bro codes being broken because of this supposed love story. And um, fast forward, business came along, Kweku um, was running a very big company. And I think that's where we get to see the other side of Kweku, where you get to see that in as much as um, he's supposed to be the head of the company, he doesn't really run it like logically. You know, he runs it more with emotions than with experience, you know, from a professional point of view. So basically, I think overall, that's, that's like a, a cup of uh, Kweku's character. Just as he's a friend to the rich kid, Kweku, friends from uni, all his best friends, guys, just by his, uh, he's very, is, is he funny? Just is just somehow nerd, supposed first class student on verbally, not on paper. Friend to Romanos, who he helped get to Accra. Um, that's why he's caught in the office emotional triangle between Abena, Jackie, and Peku. Man, yeah, this question is hard. <laughs> so, um, I don't think so. You know, it's my first time working with James you know, on a project. But three, not before, let's say four, three, four years ago, I don't even event I had in a club, but um, I doubt James is Peku. He cannot be. <laughs> no way. You know, James is too, he's, he's too, he's too fine as a guy to to be as petty as people. No, I disagree. Initially, when you started off by saying that um, this question is hard, oh, I, I, I was I was beginning to wonder where his answer his, his, his answer was going to go. But no, no, no. I mean, they're two different characters altogether. Um, arrogance, no. You know, pettiness, no. It's it's just that you know, as an actor, it's just my job to make my character believable. You know, so. But some, some, some way, somehow, people end up thinking that you're living the character. But if, if I pull it off, then that, mean, that, that makes me a good actor then. Yeah. But I think they're two different characters altogether. Personally, I don't know how, like where, where to gauge you from, because Jasper is supposed to be like a soup. Tilt your, tilt, tilt your head this way, let me see. Finish. No, no, look here. Because Jasper is supposed to be like a super smart guy. Yeah. But I'm smart. <laughs> he doesn't see it. <laughs> He's supposed to be like a super smart guy, you know, like a first class, honest kind of student. I am. I have, I have first class. So about that, I, 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 I think it's questionable. But with regards to, you know, his calmness and his collectiveness, I, I think it pretty much sums, sums um, up his character. He, he has his wild side when he, ha when, when he has to have it. And then, you know, his calm side. I, the balance, I think, fits, fits in perfectly. For the sense of humor, that's fine. That's yes. also, you know, you know that's... Um, yes, yes. Because the lips will be like natural. Yeah. But um, being a nerd, no, I'm not one. No. Being intelligent, yes, but not in this class either. Because I cannot do myself. <laughs> so, be of it, you know, more on the humor side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. Shortly after the AMBC, yeah, uh, Pascal might be like, there's something, you give it to me. You give it to me, you give it to me, you give it to me. And we laughed and that was it. And um, six, eight months after, he'd be like, um, okay, read this, yeah, read, read this, come through, let's, let's, you know, discuss this, you know, you, you, I'm seeing you doing this, so let's see how this works. So I think being someone I, I've worked with for a long time as well, you know, he understood my range, 
what I could do, you know, what is it I I can't as it can't do. But um, it's it's challenging for me, you know. I, I liked it. It's my first time doing drama, drama proper. Not sitcom, sitcom. Yeah, because with, with um, sitcoms, it comes, you know, naturally for me. Because that's what I'm. But doing drama, you know, how to be serious and be funny at the same time, it was um, challenging. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was just an ordinary day. I, I had my phone ringing and it was basket. So he called me up and was like, bro, I need you on this job. I think you can nail it. So um, watch your availability. You know, we spoke at length and we found dates that worked and the rest is history. Here I am. First, and I say this not because I'm here. It's my first time being in a romantic space with a female mindset. Mm. I don't do scenes where I have to kiss, hug somebody I've never done before. But shout out to her for her, her skill, her professionalism. Skill in what exactly? Skill in doing her job. Oh, okay. Yeah, like she had to, like she said, dude, calm down. Mm. Do this. So she gave me, you know, the vibe, the energy I needed to make the scene work. Thanks to, to the pro kisser. Who said to me, just a lot of shit. If you kiss, you bring in. Hand enough of your waist. And you pull her to yourself. So, you want for me. Yeah, but shout out to her. Because if it was some other character, I probably would have not done that scene as good as I did it. She gave me the freedom to myself. Yeah, so shout out to her. I, it's my first time working where and um, the energy is just so, you know, when she, when she, when she walks into the room, it's, it's all good, good vibes, good energy. She's smiling, she's talking to you, she wants you to be, you know, on her, on her wavelength of energy. Shout out to her. She has my respect. But life. A lot, actually. Um... But first off, I, ju I just want to give, you know, a, a huge thumbs up to the, the cast and then the crew. They did an amazing job. There were no lacks. You know, everyone was professional about their jobs. But character-wise and, you know, with regards to um, Ghana Jolov, I think I learned more about... I, I don't really film a lot in Nigeria, you know, so it's good to always know how things work in other places. So. Th things things are somewhat different. How how you know we we operate in Ghana and how things are operated here in Nigeria. Yeah, um, with regards to timing, the call times. Well, not for Diddy. Diddy is quite early, but our call times usually don't start as early as seven o'clock ish. We we sort of start around nine, you know, if if I may, and. That's, that is like a, a, a military regime, you get what I mean? And I liked how we saved the night for rest. We, we tried to juice in as much work in the day and have enough rest so we, we have an early startup. So um, timekeeping would definitely be on top of the list. I was very impressed with that. Everybody knew what they had to do at whichever time. And also the... The relationship, you know, we we had we had energy, a here yeah, the energy, everything. I think that's what even made this job very fluid, because no one put up any attitude. It was almost as if we live in one house and then we come and work in another space all together. So it was very involving and very um, how do I say, very casual. Like we've known each other for years, you know. So yeah, that that really helped the production. Acting is fun, <laughs> but it's stressful. Mm. You know, for comedy, I just need to be home, light my set, prep myself mentally, you know, get ready for my audience. And in less than an hour, I'm done with my set. <laughs> and thank you all. Good night. Love you. And I'm out. Acting, day one, day two. <laughs> the three. Yeah, the passion, of course, for acting is there. But I think comedy is my first one. Stand up, I, you know, I express myself with no, with, with no limit when I have it. Yeah, it gives me that's why I am peace as a person. Yeah. Well, shout out to my director. Shout out. For comedy, 
He's my first love. I would like for them not to focus too much on the comedy parts because there are a lot of lessons to be learned in there as well. You know, um, there when, when people are watching series, they they connect with certain characters in there. So if you connect with whichever character that's in the series, you learn from the character and try putting yourself in the shoes of the character. That's the only way you can understand it better and apply it into real life. There are lots of lessons with regard with regards to you know, how arrogance can end up, you know, in, in certain circumstances that's not, you know, the most ideal. And there are a lot of lessons to be learned with regards to keeping a friendship or a brotherhood or why friendship matters most or why brotherhood matters most and why you shouldn't pick things over, you know, certain things. Like, so if you really put yourself into it, you, you, you get to see the seriousness aspect as well and learn a lot instead of just laughing about it. I think for me, yeah, first of all, from a personal point of view, is the entire Nigeria Ghana thing was something I I look forward to, you know. It's my first time doing something like this. All I'm going to perform in Ghana as a, as a comedian is my first time doing a movie, a series that would involve actors and talents from Nigeria and Ghana, you know, at the same time. So that for me was, you know, it's me pushing my craft beyond my borders, you know, which was, you know, was catching, it was selling for me as a person. Um, when you watch this, try not to see me as a funny boy. Yeah, try not to just see me as that, oh, that comedian guy. You know, go with the drama. It's, it's, it's a drama. There's a storyline going, there's a story that's on a journey. The humor is like, would help you garnish the entire process. But the idea is not to make you laugh, it's to you to come through our story. Peku, Romanus, Jasper, our journey from Yula to Accra and how we settled in. So just follow the story and enjoy the humor. But pay more attention to the story, because that's what we're saying. I think I had worked in Accra before, so I think they are not, they are not in a hurry like we are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah their work. If I work in Ghana, I will not be complaining that it's too early to come to work. It's 9 a.m. That's Ghana. Lagos, 5 a.m. Game is coming here. <laughs> and they will shoot till 2 a.m. I want you to be awake and active the next day by 4 or 5 a.m. I cannot. Yeah? So I think Lagos will just. Would they shoot? Would they shoot? Would they shoot anything? You know, are chill. Like, don't rush it. Take your time. Get this done. Get this done. Get this done. Lagos. This little. You shoot. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get back. No one is here. Yeah. So I think that's. Yeah. Um. It's it's pretty much the same thing he he said. I mean, eventually we all end up with the same results. But I think how we go about about the production, you know, are, are quite different. We are a bit laid back and it's more like a brisk, you know, fast tracking ish here in, in Nigeria. But it, it, it all has its benefits and, you know, disadvantages. So I, I, I will say, I think I learned more about the PC side of production, you know, um, on this set. And I also learned, learned more about um, paying more attention to when some of my colleagues, <laughs> my Nigerian colleagues, when they're talking, I have to listen to ha, and, you yeah, know, and, 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 and certain things and certain things that they will say, like they can say caught, caught, and so then what's the process of, of catch? Catch, <laughs> catch up. <laughs> You know, so it's just it's just a lot of things mixed in between. It's not it wasn't all seriousness. You know, I, I learned a lot of fun parts as well with regards to accents and mm. and stuff. We 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 would tease each other and and and, and all that. But all things being equal, it was all jolly and vibes. If police call me for Lagos, I, I wonder if I said man first. He will know who to call and get me out. I can't call James. He will arrest him straight They will keep him with me till they will call another helper. <laughs> like, we'll together, so no, oh no, my not, I can't, I can't really move on. I can, I can like I, I, I don't think I, I ever had a chance to hang with him, so I wouldn't know how he turns up. Ah, 
you miss her. I know, but I wouldn't know. So I'll definitely go with Justin because you know. Yes, <laughs> we are cool they people. So we are, I mean, come on, you can't blame me. <laughs> I think I, I think we we um we get along, you know, pretty well. So if it's a turn up, Justin definitely. So I don't really get to party. Yeah. I don't really get to party. But um my idea of party is sit down, play the music, dance, be happy, you know, all vibe and energy. So yeah, when we would come, we could anybody around. Just let's buy it. Let's be happy. Yeah. Let's sing my favorite Indian song that I and I know the words but I know how they sound. I think I think I would like to talk to someone, you know, of the opposite sex to know and understand where the problem is coming from from that point of view. So once again, I would like to talk to Justin and not talk to a guy because if I'm in a relation problem, I don't think that a guy will give me an answer from a woman's perspective. That I'm a very I like to give money. Yeah. If I wasn't here working on Like when you're driving, I don't understand. <laughs> like, okay. Okay, so I like to give my day. So if I wasn't filming now or working on something, I'm just home, indoors alone, TV on, AC on, watching TV or sleeping. So I like that. Um, I cook, I think. <laughs> I hope. So I don't. I don't think I've ever put that side out there, but yeah, I can I can throw down in the kitchen a little bit. Surprise a lady if I have to, you know, or with the family, or if I have a guest. So that's probably something that fans don't know. Oh my word. Oh my word. So I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a down from cows. <laughs> so for a while I've not had jello fry, beef, ghana, or a Oh. Yeah, but my idea of jello is. There's that party jello feel. Be inside mm -hmm. the way it comes to you. It will take over mm -hmm. your, you understand me? And having said that, some little bit of damage in some pepper, <laughs> some carrots, some bomo, some bomo, <laughs> some cabbage, <laughs> and these are things you see in oh, my typical word. Nigerian jello. So, Without much of you, I keep it and I say to you, Nigerian Jello, with all it, all it, globally, the best Jello for the spice. Hmm. And firewood. Hmm. That firewood, that backyard firewood, that smoke feel coming from the wood into the rice, when they turn it, when they turn the rice, you will know hmm. that Lagos Jello is the best to find in the world. He knows. I have no idea. I have no idea. Were well, you speaking English? <laughs> I'm speaking French. Because, I mean, I, I would like, I, I would have wished that this interview would have been after, you know, he came back from Ghana, maybe, after trying it. But it's all good. I'll hook you up. I'll, 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 I'll be very um, honest here. I've tried Nigerian Jollof. Where? No, no, no. Let me let me land because okay. you don't know where I'm going. Okay, keep going. And I loved and I loved some. So I'm trying to say that there must have been instances where someone may have tried jollof from a certain place in Ghana that wasn't the ish. But if I take you to the place where I can confidently say this is Ghana jollof, you would understand where I'm coming from. I think we both we both you know have it. Because I, I enjoyed one that I had here and it was really good. I don't remember the name of the place, but it was uh, the location manager who, who got it for me. And it was really good. But there was still something missing, you know? 
it, it, it doesn't have to be filled with the more and you see that's what I'm saying if you have to add all of that to get it and we don't even have to add the more and all these things to still get it do who's family, doing the most do your family, do your family. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't have trees. We don't have trees in Ghana. We still have that, that smoky thing. It's all about the spices. No, it's not really about the pomo and the... When we go to Ghana, he'll come back and tell you guys. So, without much I do, I would like to also let you know that when you say jollof, there's no such thing as Nigerian jollof, Senegal jollof, Amer it's just Ghana jollof, period. And that's on period. No. But your love cannot outshine my love. No, 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 no. Your love cannot outshine my love. Okay, no, Allah. Your love. No, Allah. You, you will swallow these words. Don't worry. No Don't way. worry. No way. All right.